What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Rags to Riches. In this episode, we are buying a CEO office and we're also buying a CEO crate warehouse so we can do the special cargo. I also want to say a big thanks to my brother Emil for helping me out with this. He decided to speak English even though he didn't really want to in the beginning. He still decided to do it to give you the best content possible. I did not force him into doing that. I said we could do something else like I could do a post commentary. But he decided himself that he wanted to do some English commentary with me. Uh, which is really really appreciated so if you guys appreciate that just let's do like a hashtag in the comments like hashtag we love you emil or something that would be really cool yeah if you guys want to please comment that down below to uh show emil that we appreciate everything that he did in this episode for us because he really stepped out of his comfort zone to do this video for you guys and help me out with this as i said i didn't force him into doing it he just did it so we we need to show some appreciation i think so leave that in the comments down below i really appreciate that thank you guys uh hope you guys do enjoy the video though don't forget to subscribe if you're new here leave a like down below and uh yeah uh, enjoy the motherfucking in. video I'm in the peace office. out looking great by the way and i'm ready to get started we can get to work on the new securo serve special cargo network or just sit around surfing life invader like everyone else whatever you want boss and here we go this is our office right here we just bought it okay do you want to fucking you don't want to fight me i just bought an office fuck off here we go. Welcome to your office, sir. I'm your new executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. The recreational area slash breakout space going through to the executive suite. We're all set up to grow this company with everything a modern executive could want. There's the boardroom. The panels are easily swapped, so you can install a gun locker or a safe whenever you want to. It's possible to knock through here and add some personal quarters, somewhere to lie down, take some me time, look at the Dynasty 8 site for details. Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where you'll access the Securo Serve Special Cargo Network to take this operation to another level. I'll tell you all about it when you first log in. So that's it. Take a look around, get settled in. I'm at the front desk or on the end of the phone whenever you need me. How did she talk to me before I even arrived at the office? That makes no smart, sense. Boss. Shut the boss. fuck up. I know I can change a decor in this office, but it's so expensive. It's not worth the money. Can do that when we got that 20 mil in our bank, then we can upgrade this shit. Might be okay, one of the I things I do before I give the account away. So what we need, in. or what okay. I want now, is this... Down. See, are these also on sale? Three no, they're not. Cargo, okay. Special cargo, cargo should be though, right? Yeah. Cargo, That's not bad. This is the one I was thinking about. 950,000. I thought it was going to be a little bit lower, but that's fine. We can do that. Yeah, so... I don't know if I can sell an 111 crate warehouse alone i think if i get the if we get the plane we can do that but there might be a possibility that i might not be able to do that alone so i might have to get someone else to help me with that otherwise you could also buy the smaller ones which aren't on sale but you can buy those just to get 16 crates and you can sell 16 crates alone that i i'm 100 percent sure of so either buy a small one or, or a large one. But I think we're going to go for a large one, which was, which is uh, $950,000. The thing is that we could buy the small one and then upgrade to the large one later if we would want to. Because you can either choose to keep the small one or to like um, give that in as part of the payment towards the larger one. So if you buy a smaller one, a medium one, and you want to upgrade to a large one, you can always do that and then get your money back from the one that you bought earlier. Just make sure to sell all your all your stock before you do. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep grinding for that 950,000, and uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys when I buy the uh, CEO crates. Here we go. A few hours later, we have enough money to buy the large warehouse at Cypress Flats. 111 crates. This is the cheapest large warehouse. Also one of the better ones, the highway connection, everything. So we're going to buy this. It's on like quite a big sale right now. So 
I think it's going to be worth buying this one instead of buying a smaller one, which aren't on sale or anything. So we're going to buy this, even though we might not go and sell at 111 crates. It's still worth. We can still get like 16 crates or whatever. So, so yeah, as you can see, we can buy one, two or three crates. And uh, for three crates, it's $18,000. So that's the one we're going to do right now. And then we can just leave it at the crate warehouse. Like since the CO crates and everything is on sale, uh, and the CEO uh, office and everything. We have the double money on um, VIP work as well. So when I do Headhunter and Sightseer, instead of getting 20, 25,000, I get around 40 to 45,000. So that's pretty good. And that's what I'm gonna do to like make money for the crates. So I'm gonna do get some crates and then I'm gonna do a Headhunter Sightseer. And then uh, I'm gonna do some crates and then another Headhunter Sightseer and so on and so forth and uh, eventually also i've obviously been selling my bunker a couple of times so when that's done i'm gonna sell that so yeah just gonna go back and forth between these things until i get quite a few crates uh so yeah there's a lot of like grinding here that you guys really will not see but yeah it takes a lot of time to do uh all of this grinding here so if you guys would want me to like live stream when i do this then let me know so you guys can like follow along but like it will be probably be cut out of the video so if uh, if you want to see me live stream this uh then yeah just let me know in the comments down below so i think we have to snipe someone probably yeah as you guys can see we get a sniper here as well three targets detail bodybuilders okay let's see if we can find some bodybuilders there's one. Did the other one manage to run? Perfect. Perfect. Well, we only have one crate to collect. Sometimes you get like actual three crates, but sometimes you just get like a vehicle or something where there are three crates inside of it. So that's basically what we got right now. Uh, we got a vehicle probably here. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there it is. Big ass truck with three crates inside. Let's see, let's call Lester here. See if he can help us with the wanna level. I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. How can I help? Yeah, it's worth it. It's only six hundred dollars. Now I just have to drive this over to the warehouse. Here we go, arriving at the warehouse. It's just around the corner. Right into this yellow circle, and we're done with the great mission. yeah this is our warehouse this is where we're gonna fill up get some big amounts of money obviously we can sell whenever we want and as much as we want so even if we have a full warehouse we don't have to sell the full thing we can full sell parts of it or like half of it or yeah however we want to do it we can do it from here uh but obviously the best thing to do is to sell the whole warehouse because the more the the more crates that you add on the more they're worth so Obviously, this one, as you can see, doubled the money. Uh, we have a cargo value of $36,000. And uh, if we were to add an extra three crates for $18,000, that would be $36,000 spent. But our warehouse would be up at $80,000, I think, or something similar to that. So it's really good. It's really good. It's not, it's not like you don't double your uh, amount that you spend every time. You actually, it go, goes even more depending on how many crates you actually have so uh next time won't be seventy two thousand; it will be more than seventy two thousand, which is really nice so the more you collect the more you can sell it for it later but yeah that's uh you. that's pretty much it uh for now i'm just gonna keep grinding doing some headhunter sightseer uh but you guys already know how that goes so i won't show you guys that yeah we have currently two businesses running one passive one active and uh we have 
uh, a co office so we're looking pretty good right now next thing we should probably invest in is a, uh, a motorcycle club because if we do that i probably maybe get this one or this one because if we do that we can start buying mc businesses you know i'll obviously buy here in sandy shores there's one like here one here one here and then one all the way over here yeah that's that's what we're gonna start collecting for right now so business wise what i want to aim at is first bunker uh then i usually go for something that's on sale i like to do first one one passive business and then one active business so i have something to do while the passive business is going in the background so yeah that's that's my method of uh, making my money in gta so yeah what i want to have now is a few more passive businesses while we get ceo crate so we can earn even more money eventually we will also buy this nightclub here and we will have double the amounts of passive income at all times there's a lot we still have to do but the progress so far has been really really good i think we're just gonna keep killing it right here while the headhunter and sightseer are on double money and as you can see i've been grinding ceo crates like crazy yeah we only have the two last crates here that we need to collect me and my brother are going to do that right now hey let's go <laughs> oh what a nice car you got there very good car <laughs> i'm gonna boost you with your presser so we get there faster yeah do that it's helping a lot. <laughs> we only have about five kilometers to go. It's gonna take like five hours. Yeah. It's slowing down uphills. Great. <laughs> yeah, but now it's downhill, so it should be going a lot faster, though, right? Yeah, but it's slowing. It's slowing down. <laughs> Is it still slowing down downhill? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but what would you rather drive, this or like the postal vans? <laughs> okay, I take this one. <laughs> I really hate. Post vans. <laughs> yeah, they are literally the fucking worst. Literally the worst, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I have to start boosting you again so you go a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, boost me. Wait. Only like two clicks left. Oh, we're finally here now. <laughs> yeah, finally. <Ooh. laughs> Good job. Now let's sell our CO crates, <laughs> shall we? Yes. Let's go. Come on, we got this. 2.2 million. It's gonna be so nice when I got this in my in my bank. All right. We okay. Got we got the one. some trucks. Okay, let's make some deliveries. Do you want to take the last truck, or should I do it? What you need, boss? No, Wheels? you can do it. I can bring them around. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll bring it to you. If it's okay. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, I got it, I got it. The problem is I, I didn't get it. Oh no! No! Dude! What did I do? Dude, what have I done? How am I gonna get up from here? Dude, I fucked it. I have to switch sessions. I have to switch sessions. No. Okay, Emil, let's be careful this time, man. Don't drive into any waters. Why did you have to do that last time? Yeah, but it was you. <laughs> don't blame this shit on me now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How did I fuck that up so badly? I would have had 2.2 million by now. <laughs> <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> I don't think we have it down by the docks this time anyway, so we shouldn't drive into any water by now. I I yeah, hope. <laughs> then you get to find the train or something like that. <laughs> Be careful when you do these missions, guys. Please. I think I think you might be able to do this like these three vehicles by yourself because you're pretty quick actually. I think especially if you have some sort of flying vehicle to get back, like a, like an impressor or like a buster or something. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on any of those things because I'm not 100% sure. But I think you could. Because last time when I got to the last vehicle, it was like 23 minutes left. Which should be enough time to deliver five, five of those um, crates. And if you do it like three of those, you should have about 15 minutes, 10 minutes left maybe. Okay, okay, okay. 
I found a way to fuck this up, and I'm not going to do it. No, you're not. Oh, it's just- Oh, 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 oh! Bro, this one is good, you just have to deliver once. Don't drive into the gas station, please! Please! <laughs> it was so close, I'm dead. Can we get the... buster? Awesome. Nice, it's just one delivery, not five this time, so... This one you could definitely make by yourself. Buster man is in the house. <laughs> Let's be honest, I failed that last mission just so we could show off, off another sail mission, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's let's be honest. <clears throat> Jesus, you're gonna blow me up. Chill. No. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm Busterman. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I'm only 700 meters away from 2.2 million. Let's go. I'm so gassed. <laughs> I can do it. Let's not drive into the gas station and blow this thing up. <laughs> I believe in you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here I come. Oh, this one is not even supposed to be delivered by the other ones. This just goes in here. Oh no. Can you blow those up? Oh, it's eight more we have to kill. Ah. Oh, yeah, that should be the last one. There we go. Oh my god. I, I I think I've never seen this much money on this account ever. I had 2.2 .2 million at one point, but now we're at 2.6 2 million. Imagine. Jesus. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, man. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. What are you doing, bustard man? <laughs> Oh, I'm burning. I'm gonna buy the uh, nightclub. See, this one we're gonna buy for 600,000. Club name. What don't we have? Tony's Funhouse. We're going with Tony's Funhouse. An extra 33,000. Nothing else. We don't need anything else. There we go. Perfect. We're on it. Now we have to do some setups. I can't tell you how psyched I am to be working the bar at your club. Hey, look! -o. Now we have to get the equipment. There we go. Equipment setup. Let's do it. Now we have to pick up Salomon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm brushing my teeth now. <laughs> Only on the Weeps YouTube channel you find the best, <laughs> best quality content. <laughs> we play GTA and brush our teeth. And oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, did he? What? Did you see that? No. Oh, that was so weird. The plane, he landed it, and then it just like bounced up in the air, and he just like <laughs> crashed it, kind of. And they're like, oh, he landed it! I'm like, no, he didn't! Now we just have to go all the way back. Here we go. Delivering. Delivered. That should be about it. Nice. Very nice. All right, follow me. Right. <laughs> Swear to God, this guy is so fucking <laughs> twinkle toes. Okay, let's go and check out our business part of things. We don't really care about the nightclub. We don't spend time with the nightclub. We don't take care of the nightclub. <laughs> we just care about our nightclub business. 
So one thing that we might need to upgrade is the warehouse space, which we could have done in the beginning, I guess, but we'll check it out. Here we go. This is our clubhouse. Renovate and storage. What would five cost? 1.7 million. That's a lot of money. Fuck it. Let's do it. Then we don't have to do it later. Now we're 300,000. Back to that. <laughs> let's see. Let's assign some technicians. How much is it higher? 141? Confirm. There we go. Yeah, so basically how the nightclub works is you go into warehouse management, you hire technicians here. And then for every business that you have, you will get these unlocked. So for example, we have cargo and shipment. That's the CO crates. Sporting goods. That is the bunker. Uh, we have South American imports. That is cocaine business, like the MC business. Pharmaceutical. That's the meth. Organic produce. That's the weed. Printing and copying is uh, the, the document forging. And cash creation is the counterfeit cash. So basically when we get the MC businesses, we're going to get these as well. We can assign technicians here. And this is completely separate from the other businesses, the MC businesses and stuff. Like this goes up by itself, takes quite a bit of time, but you get like basically double all of your money by having the nightclub. So yeah, that's basically all you have to do in here. You can do some upgrades as well, which we'll get to later. So what we did, we upgraded the storage so we can hold more stock. As you saw here, it said 72 before and now it says 360 total stock. Uh, and this will go up by itself, as I said earlier. So next thing we have to do is just earn money for equipment upgrade. Basically, we have to just fill up our CO crates, keep doing the bunker. And yeah, that's what I think I'm going to keep doing next. Start upgrading these businesses and then possibly buy the MC business as well. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for this episode of uh, Rags to Riches. So yeah, thanks uh, for watching the video and thank you Emil for helping me. You're welcome man. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a beautiful rest of the day. Peace out nerds. Get fucked. So we should run while we can, the scene is fading